Ali meets uh, Will, who was played by the beautiful Aldous Hodge. And he, well, you know Aldous and I have a relationship. We go back to um, Hidden Figures, and I didn't really work with him a lot. But um, I watched him on set, and I was like, he's very charming, he's handsome, he's funny. You know, he's like the guy everybody loves, you know? And so when they gave me a list of guys to play the character Will, I was like, Aldous, I would love to work with him. I had worked with him before. It would be a nice look, new, fresh look for the film. And I think that guy deserves a shot because it's just something about him. And so I pushed for him. <laughs> I did, and thank God they hired him because he was everything I thought he would be. Ali is a woman who can hold her own, so she's, she never walks in the room intimidated. Um, if anything, she's she overcompensates in confidence because that's something that she's had to do all of her life. Um, you know, boxers, what do they do? They overcompensate. Hey, I'm gonna beat you up and you wait until we get in. So that's how she was raised, that's all she knows. So she doesn't Im intimidate easy. So it's, it was never like she felt like, uh, oh my God, I'm the only girl in here. It's, if anything, Ali felt like she was one of the fellas <laughs> with boobs. But um, yeah, you know, I, I guess Ali is the type of woman who sees obstacles and then she goes into how do I break them down? How do I leap over the hurdles? She never sees anything as a problem. Okay, you may present it to her as a problem, but I'll prove you wrong. Let me tell you what I love about Adam Shakeman. He is comedy and he's musical theater. It's interesting. Um, he calls me, you know, after we contracts are settled, everybody signed off and we start talking about the script and he calls me and says, I want to, I want to direct this like a 1930s movie. So everything is really fast, 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 fast. And I already understand how he thinks because he's musical theater and so am I. And that is the way he directs. The film moves, the cameras move, we're moving. So um, it was so easy working with him. I could understand what he was doing when he would place the camera. If he put two people in there and I'm in the back, I knew he wanted me to work. You know, it's a comedy, it's physical. So he's using every moment. So you have to stay alive. Even though the camera's not on you directly, know that someone's racking focus, you know? So, um, I love working with him. I hope this is not our last dance because it, it's, it's pretty amazing. With Will and James, this is like my fourth film with them. And they're, they are, I don't know what to say. They're like the president and the vice president. Like they, they got magic. They know how to produce a film. I trust them every time I work with them. Every time they call me, I pick up. I'm like, what you got? You know, the only film that I wasn't able to do with them was Girl's Trip. But that wasn't my place. Like, thank God, because if I wouldn't do it, you know, that was somebody else's blessing. You know, maybe that was Tiffany's introduction to the world. Thank God for her. We need her, you know? So, yeah, but I enjoy working with them, and I owe Will especially Will Packer, James too, but Will brought me No Good Deed first, and that was before Think Like a Man, and he's just always been very good to me. He takes really good care of me, and I just really appreciate you, Will. Thank you, and James too. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, Poker Day was fun. So you had uh, Grant Hill, you had Shaq. Um, who else? We oh, Mark Cuban, who's, who's now, I'm his protege. He's gonna show me how to work harder, smarter, not harder. And he has a jet that I can buy from him. I just have to make the money. <laughs> no, but it was it was so much fun. The guys were uh, great sports. I mean, just great sports. And then there was Tracy Morgan. It's been a lot of fun, you know. I. I, this is what I do comedy. I mean, I came in the business kind of ass backwards or whatever. It's, I guess it was destined for me to, to garner such a, a dramatic audience and then have them go, oh, and she's funny, you know. I'm fine with that. I'm a character actress. I always knew I was good at comedy. It just took the industry a minute to catch up, <laughs> which is fine by me. I think audiences will love to hear what's on men's minds. Um, because I think a lot of people go, oh, a bunch of sex and talk and this and that. You'd be, you'd be surprised at how insecure men are.
They're just as insecure as we are. <laughs> I think that's what she took on. I think that's her wanting to uplift women, women and put them in more powerful positions and get them paid just as much as men in uh, um, the sports industry. Uh, I think that's something that she champions um, because that's something she's fighting for herself. So, you know, when Nick tells her to stay in her lane and maybe you're just great with female athletes, it sets her off, you know, just because, you know, she doesn't have male clients. You're trying to say that men are more valuable than women. You know, we hit that note. And so then it's like, well, let me prove to you. I think it's as simple as what we want. What any human wants, loyalty, someone that they can trust, someone that they can go home to and really feel home. Um, that's what we all want as humans, right? To be loved unconditionally. I don't think it, they're that complicated. And we aren't either. You know, it's just finding the one that you gel with, you know? And you're both gonna have flaws, but do they balance each other, you know? And I think that's it. I don't think men are that complicated. <laughs>